Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Hasbro 2020 release Plasma Series Ghostbusters Winston Zedmore. If there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. So let's go ahead and move him out of the way real quick, and we will take a look at the box. Now as you can see, this box is kind of somewhat crushed, as I said in the actual series showcase, which was the first video in the series that we're doing now. Uh, he was the only Winston Zedmore, and the bu box was kind of crushed on the shelf. Uh, but that's okay, I don't keep them in the boxes. They go displayed in my Ghostbusters display case. So as you can see, you got the Ghostbusters flight suit design on the box. Ghostbusters, the logo, Zedmore Plasma series for ages 4 and up. There's a side. There's the other side. There's the back. Winston Zedmore, the voice of reason. Winston's the one you want on your corner, want in your corner when times get tough. And as you can see here, this is the order in which we are reviewing these figures. We did a showcase of all the figures in the series. That was the first video we did. And then the, that Thursday we did Peter Vankman. The following Tuesday was Ray. The following Thursday was Egon. And now we're on Winston. Today, which is Tuesday, Thursday, we're doing Dana Barrett. Next Tuesday, we'll be doing Gozer. And the following Thursday, we'll be doing Vince Clortho. So anyway, let's go ahead and move this box off to the side. And Winston does come with the front right leg of the Terror Dog, which we'll take a look more in depth whenever we look at Vince Clortho. So we'll move that off to the side. Uh, something that Winston comes with that the other Ghostbusters do not is the Proton Stream. Go ahead and move this down a little bit so we can bring him forward a little bit more. Take a look at him. So as you can see, he comes with the Proton Stream. That's something the other Ghostbusters do not come with uh, that I kind of wish they would have. Uh, that would have been nice. You almost need to get four Winstons in order to have a complete set of Proton Streams. But that's all right. And it does pop off just like that. We'll move that off to the side. And here is the proton stream. As you can see, it's two separate pieces. You got the softer rubbery plastic of the uh, electricity that goes around it. Which it almost looks like it might have broken or something. Oh well. And then you got the stronger plastic, the orange beam there and then it attaches to the uh, neutrino wand right there so we'll move that off to the side and we'll took it we'll take a look at winston uh just like vankman his face sculpt doesn't really look like ernie hudson's um maybe from a certain angle but you know egon and rays did actually resemble more closely the actors uh faces Winston and Peter, I'm not really seeing too much of it in them. We'll go ahead and remove his proton pack for right now so I can show you guys all the different articulation he has, uh, just like with the other Ghostbusters. Uh, his neutrino wand, as you can see, there's a hole right there, and it attaches to that peg there, just like that, and to take his proton pack off. You want to raise this arm up just like that. Come over to his left hand side and just unhook that. Unplug it from the back. As you can see there's a hole and a peg that goes into his back. Slide over his head and cross his arm just like that. We'll set him to the side. We'll plug this back in and as you can see the light on his is on the lower right hand corner is the one that has the red bulb uh, as the others have only one lit to show how it moves around and we'll go ahead set this right here and we'll zoom in so you guys can take an in-depth view to appreciate the sculpt on this proton pack Oh, 
All right, so there's that. Now, the articulation of Winston. All right, his head does look up that far. That's as far as his head will look up. Okay, looks down that far. <laughs> so not really a whole lot. Does rotate all the way around. Each of the Ghostbusters do have these butterfly hinges and the shoulder blades. As you can see, uh, they have a hinge in the shoulder, brings them up to there. Their arm can turn all the way around on a ball joint. They have bicep swivel. They have double, double elbow joint, which is really tight. I'm really concerned that it might end up popping out of, the pegs might end up popping out. Uh, so I'm not gonna push that too much. Uh, it does have wrist articulation, can go that hinge just like that and spin all the way around. Then it does have waist swivel all the way around. The belt is on a um, softer rubbery plastic, as you can see there. And his legs can go up to there, up front there, back that far. He has a thigh swivel, double knee joint, which again, I'm concerned about because it's so tight. Um, I don't want to pop it out of the hinge. And then ankle uh, hinge goes down that far, can go up that far, out about that far, in that far. Okay. And he does have a peg hole in his belt that if you wanted to, he could use the PKE meter and it would attach to his belt. Um, in fact, hold on just a second, guys. All right, so I just checked and all the Ghostbusters do have that peg hole on their belts. However, on for Peter, uh, the, the Ghost Trap does not have a peg on it to plug in there. Um, so as I said in his review, I've just kind of been putting the Ghost Trap uh, attaching it there where his two-way radio goes. Now, to put the proton pack on the figures, you need to have their arms straight out like this. And then you come over, you unsnap this side. So far, Ray is the only one who has trouble plugging that back in because he has a bigger gut. Uh, his figure does. Uh, so they did not reuse the molds on each figure. Um, then you plug that peg from the proton pack into the back just like that. Bring this arm up. Snap that back into place just like that. Now you can either display him with the uh, neutrino wand attached to his proton pack like I showed you guys earlier, or you can put it in his hand. Now, the hose to the neutrino wand is more of a, it's a little bit harder of a plastic, not quite as soft and rubbery, so it may get brittle over time, so be careful. So that one went on no problem. This is where we fall into the problem, trying to get it in his other hand. And the hand, the fingers, are a softer plastic so <clears throat> you can actually get it in the hand at least one of them in the hands no problem it's that they want to come unattached from the other hand whenever you're doing it that's the problem we fall into just slide that back in if I can just like that. And as I showed you guys earlier, the proton stream does attach just like that. 
So there you have it, guys. This has been a review of the Hasbro 2020 Plasma Series Ghostbusters Winston Zeddemore. Stay tuned next time when we take a look at Dana Barrett. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. <coughs> That's a big one. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.